If you're new to WordPress, you're probably trying to figure out what's the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. So it's the same technology, but different business model. So WordPress.com is actually an all-in-one service where they want to sell you WordPress and the hosting for that WordPress website. So it's going to be bundled into one. So that means that these have a pricing plan and they do have a free plan, but it's super limited. But I'll show you those in a bit. And on the other hand, we have WordPress.org, which is a free service. They provide the technology, but it's free if you host it on your own server. That means that we're going to pay for a hosting aside from WordPress, which could be a big benefit since you are going to get all the power of the hosting provider. Plus, you'll be able to install multiple WordPress websites. And that's a big difference from doing it directly with WordPress.com. Now, before I show you the main differences, I'm going to show you the sponsor for this video, which is actually Hostinger. They are currently running the Black Friday sale, which is the most affordable time you're going to get a hosting plan here on Hostinger. So link provided in the description. Now, I'm currently checking out the services from the managed hosting for WordPress, which I'll leave the link. OK, now they have affordable plans that are WordPress managed systems. Now, one of the cool things that I like about hosting here is that they include AI into it. So that means that aside from getting hosting, you're going to get AI tools that will let you, for example, AI instant website with Elementor or the block editor, which will let you create your site using AI, the AI agent for WordPress and the AI website troubleshooter. So that's included. Plus, you'll be able to install up to 50 websites and 50 gigabytes of NVMe storage. Now, do consider this pricing plan and what's included because when we jump into WordPress.com, that will come into play, which I'll show you in a bit. OK, so if you select this plan, which is the most popular one, the business with AI, I'm going to show you how to apply a coupon code that's going to drop the price even more. So currently this plan is one hundred and thirty two dollars, but that is for four years paid off. Now, I do recommend that you select the 48 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. Now, this is the current pricing, but if you click on have a coupon code and type in my coupon code or paste it in and apply it, the price is going to drop to $118 with 80 cents. So that's really affordable for four years paid off. OK, now remember, you'll be able to install multiple websites. Now, since we are currently located right here, I'm going to show you the big difference on the paid plans on WordPress.com. Now, if you're in WordPress.com and you want to jump into a paid plan, that means that WordPress is going to host our WordPress website. So you can install a free WordPress website. You can get started right now. No payment at all and host it with them. But it's going to be super limited. You're going to get one gigabyte of storage, unlimited pages, post users and visitors. So that's pretty cool. But you're going to be limited in the amount of plugins, themes that you'll be able to install here. So you don't get the install plugins option in the free plan. So you need to jump into the four dollar plan, which is pretty much pretty good, right? But do consider that you only have six gigabytes of storage. You only have one website installed. And that gives you a few limitations. So if you're looking for an all in one solution, which is straightforward and easy to use, then this is a great option. So the four dollar plan or the eight dollar plan. But if you jump into the business and the commerce, I think it gets pretty expensive. And that's where you want to use WordPress.org, because using Hostinger, you'll be able to install all these websites inside of there. So you'll get inside of the 50 gigabytes. So as many websites that you can fit on this business plan, you'll be able to install WordPress websites. So I would consider that you can install around 10 WordPress websites on that plan without having issues with the storage limit and the visitors and all that. So once you divide these four years with that price, it's way more affordable than paying for this for one single website. But the big difference between these two is, like I mentioned, WordPress.org is an open source system where you can install on your hosting plan. It doesn't have to be Hostinger, but you can install this on WordPress websites, on a BPS, on any hosting provider, on cPanel, etc. So it's a really great option to use. But if you're looking for an option where I don't want to overcomplicate things, I just need one WordPress website and I need it to work the way it should, then the WordPress.com option is the plan for you. So go ahead and just see what plan fits your needs and go from there. So definitely a great option. So if you want to do straightforward, then WordPress.com. If not, WordPress.org and install it on any hosting provider. And if you plan to use Hostinger, do use my coupon code so you grab the lowest price possible. So link provided in the description for all of this. And that is a wrap.